Welcome back, everybody, to Two Guys, Three Crowns, the podcast about what it's really like to live in Stockholm, Sweden. Join me, Sean, and my fellow American, Rodney, as we explore the good, the bad, and the just plain weird. Welcome back to a special episode of Two Guys, Three Crowns. As many of you know, we are based here in Stockholm. Uh, hence the three crowns bit and it's a bit difficult to do a uh, fun lighthearted show this week in particular because as many of uh, our listeners I'm sure have seen on the news uh, Russia has invaded Ukraine and given the Swedish disposition toward assuming that Russia is going to invade Sweden any second anyway um, it's you know the talk of the town right now so we just wanted to take a few minutes to recognize what's going on and do a little moment of silence a few seconds um, to just hope that everyone comes out of this thing as many people as possible come out of it okay and can kind of get back to their daily lives as quickly as possible So on that note, I would love to tell you about all the problems I got going on with delivery issues. <laughs> it's kind of hard to transition away, but right. <laughs> yeah, it's like speaking, but, man, of problems. I would love to. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, talk about first world problems. Mm. But man, like, there's something almost more enraging than watching Putin just go like all Targaryen, Mad King, like, and just like burn them all kind of thing. Right. Um, it gets me fiery inside when grocery stores decide to deliver to me bananas that are the same hue and shade as Granny Smith apples. Is that what you sent the picture of? Yes. <laughs> that, that's what that was? That okay. is literally a Granny Smith apple, the greenest green apple you can find. And some genius working in the eco warehouse decided hmm those bananas they'll go those are perfect for delivery and you know the thing is they're going to rot before they turn yellow yeah but but the but the thing like, that the, the thing that gets me is the person that actually is choosing the items to go ahead and stick inside of people's grocery grocery things um you don't have to be a genius you don't have to be like have gone to some kind of agricultural college. Like, of... Have you passed second grade? That's kind of like the level we're talking right now to be like these bananas. There's probably not a greener shade of green on an Amazonian viper. But yeah, those probably look like they're about ready to eat. Or let's go ahead and just say, would you eat them yourself? <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> I mean, I went with the Ika order this week. I knew, I knew there was going to be stuff missing. There is always stuff missing with Ika. I swear, like the florist is using post Nord. Ika has been using like ex post Nord employees to deliver their stuff for a long time. But the thing is. I can't fault the delivery guy entirely. It's the person who's picking it out in the warehouse because they just miss stuff all the time. Like there would be like, sometimes I know it's the delivery guy because I count up the missing items and it would like fit perfectly in one of those paper bags. And I'm like, okay, it's still on the truck. And like, he just decided to eat it for lunch or something, you know? But then like, it's just, it's just crazy. And why, like when you shop online, this is a complaint in general. When I shop Willie's or Ika or whatever it is, they say, oh, please select your store. Man, you don't, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I know what's in stock. I was just there yesterday in this Ika that I'm ordering from, and I know what's sitting on the shelf. You're not having someone go in there into the store and pick stuff off the shelf for me. No, 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 no. It all comes from a warehouse in Althue. Like, I see when the van starts. I get the notification on my phone. 
And they're like, okay, your order's headed to you. Only 59 <laughs> deliveries before you. And it always starts in the same place for all the grocery stores. I, I've taken the train to go down oh. to Ninasam. You fly right past them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like all the big warehouses where the trucks pull in. I'm like, it doesn't. Why are you making me pick my store? Yeah. It's the same thing. I could pick the smallest random convenience store <laughs> like version of Ika, and they would have all the same stuff as Ika Maxi. Like I don't get it. I don't understand this. How how often do how often do you order? Uh, is it weekly or is it? It's like... typically a week and a, I try to push it to week and a half to two weeks. Okay. Because there's some stuff that Dylan's just gonna blow through, and I have to go to co-op every two days. Like tomatoes, like yeah. cherry tomatoes, cherry or here tomatoes. we call them cocktail tomatoes. Uh -huh. I'm like you're not putting cherry tomatoes in the cocktail. Why are they got anyway? Hmm. But yeah, he'll just blast through tomatoes blueberries blackberries that kind of stuff and like lately it's been apple juice so yeah and oatly so you got have to constantly go back to the grocery store uh -huh. and replenish his supply because god forbid the tasmanian devil requests something and it's not in the fridge mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah adrian adrian's a big cocktail tomato eater <laughs> 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 it's one of those things where you can you you almost don't have time or didn't have time to wash them. You know, like you rinse off the cocktail tomatoes and then you put them into a little bowl and you put them on the table. And then when you turn around to like wipe, wipe off the, the little dish area, but when you turned around, it, it was, there was like three tomatoes left, two tomatoes left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same in our house. That's basically it. But I'm, And I now have to tell, because I learned this in the past order, mm -hmm. like I try to do a week and a half worth of at least dinners and then dinners you like make extra so they become leftovers you can have them for lunch the next day mm, that kind of thing leftovers mm. yeah i mm. oh, love leftovers mm. love a good leftover yeah. and then with the tomatoes last time i was going to do this like kind of take on a caprese salad where it was like the little multicolored co cocktail tomatoes cocktail and the like the little mini balls of mozzarella and then soak them in some olive oil, throw a little mm. salt and basil dun, dun, in there. Dun, 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 yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. You know, it's a great thing. But then mm. next thing I know, Dylan's eating multicolored tomatoes. I'm like, ah, Hinata, what are you doing? You can't eat those. I can never actually find them. That's the one thing I can never find in the store. You can't let him eat that stuff. That's for us. He's not supposed to eat those. That's yes, food. Now, yeah. Now I have to label the cherry tomatoes when they come in. I'm like, these are okay. the, this side of the fridge with the 15 packs of tomatoes. Those right. are for Dylan to eat. If it's yeah. in the vegetable fridge, like the vegetable drawer, he can't have those. Right. <laughs> it's a machine, man. It's insane. Hey, but at least it's good stuff. I mean, he's eating lots yeah, of exactly. healthy, healthy, yeah, good stuff. Complain. But man, he doesn't want me to, he's in this moment. Like he doesn't want me to cut anything. So mm. he loves peppers and cucumber, anything crunchy. He's big into crunchy vegetables mm. right now, especially okay. like the red peppers because they're sweet a little bit. Right. So he's like, no, dad, dad, no corta, no corta, which is uh, cut. Portuguese for cut. cut. Don't okay. cut it. And I'm like, bro, it's a bell pepper. How are you going to eat that? Thing? <laughs> How are you going to stick like, this into what, your what face? What are you going to do? And it's slippery on the outside. It's like whack. How right. are you going to eat that? No, oh, I have to at least cut it in half. Same thing with the cucumber. You'll choke yourself trying to eat that cucumber. Let me at least cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Dylan like sounds like a, the flavor. Uh, he sounds like a little minion. <laughs> yeah, basically. Basically. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay let's say okay he loves the healthy stuff he loves yes uh healthy stuff preferably uncut um but when he gets like a like a treat or does do you does he even differentiate between treats and do you just give him like another tomato It'd be like oh he's oh. had chocolate i've made chocolate chip cookies a couple times okay um Typically, that stuff is too sweet, actually, for him. It's like, he'll have, like, um, we had these chocolates, like little Santa-shaped chocolates, I think, mm. from Christmas. And he'll eat, it's only, what, like an inch long. Okay. I don't know. What is that, three centimeters? We'll call it three and, three, three and a half yeah. centimeters. Yeah. yeah. So, 
not that big, like a little fun size kind of thing. And he'll eat half of it. And then he'll like, just be like, dad, dad, here, throw this away for me. Mm. So that's kind of good. Now, that being said, this boy will destroy an entire plate of French fries. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> With ketchup. He's yeah. already on the Swedish thing. He needs ketchup for everything. I'm like, right. nah, bro. No. We're not putting it on pasta. You can have it with a burger mm -hmm. and french fries, and that is it. It ain't going on a hot dog. Like, don't even ask me. So you can have ketchup with a burger wrapped around it. Kind of. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stuff the, the burger, burger with ketchup inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, God. That's what it is. Oh, but yeah. At least it's healthy stuff right now, so you can't complain too much. The, like, the thing that drives you crazy, though, is... He's like, no, I want to eat this. And he knows how to open the fridge. And like, he can see, just barely see into the vegetable drawer. Oh. So he starts pointing at all the stuff he wants. Okay. And he's like, dada, I want this. I want this. Okay. A red pepper. Okay. I have to cut it. No, don't no. cut it. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Then you have to go through that, you know, negotiation. Right. And then you cut it. You go through this whole thing and you give it, you put it in his little cup or a mm. bowl or something. And do you want hummus in it? Yeah. Okay. Hummus. No, no hummus, no hummus. Like, well, now it's got hummus in it. It's not coming out. So you finally go, you put it like, he's got like a little spot. He's got one of these discovery towers that we can tip on its side mm. and like change it into a table. Like it's something that he can climb up and watch okay. us cook because he got loves it. to watch us cook. Yeah. And it's like a multi-function thing. So you turn it over on its side and right. it's like a kid sized table that they can draw on and eat and stuff got like it that. so you go take the peppers with the hummus that he does not want clearly but now he does want mm -hmm. you put it on the little table thing you sit down on the couch you're like god thank god i left this beer here i would just love like a little sip of like nice beer and right when you get it to your lips uh, no da da grapes 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 mm. like tough kid mm. Eat your peppers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting up for another five minutes. Like honestly, come on. It's gonna be like that 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 little baby uh, on the, on the TikTok and and the social media reels where they show him that really good looking food and then they pull yes. it away and slip him the baby food or her, yeah, him or her. That no. would definitely never work with him. No. Like the second you try and do that little transition, yeah. he would spot it coming a mile away, and you'd be like. No, mm -hmm. no. What, 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 what are you doing with this right now? Get, <laughs> right. What that's doing? what you sold me on. This thing. Give me that thing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this from the and guy. Very yeah. vocally. And I, rem I know, I know that clip. And they're in a restaurant. I'm like, stuff would be melting down if yeah. I tried to pull that off in public in a restaurant. Yeah. Hey, Dylan, Get the now, knives out of reach. <laughs> yeah, now I, I haven't seen, I haven't seen Dylan in a while, and. I'm assuming that he's he he's he was a, a little solid baby, and mm -hmm. he is a solid toddler, is he not? I mean, I'm, oh yes, yeah. It's funny though because when you see him in isolation, right? He's like <clears throat> he's like strong, and he's got like his his thing, and he'll like run at like a million miles an hour, like all the time. He doesn't stop, and he's talking all the time. But then you take him into preschool. And he's standing next to these Viking babies. The Viking babies are like six foot tall already. <laughs> and here's like little Dylan with the Brazilian blood, like a like a miniature version of all these kids. It's yeah, so yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, he had Groot. He had Valning. Yeah. Hey, it's it's in the blood. Come yeah. on now. Viking babies. <laughs> I, never, I, never, I never really thought about that. Little Viking babies running around. Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, you just eat enough dill, you have enough grit, then you grow up to be seven feet tall, but I don't know. Must I be am, something else. I am grit. I am grit. <laughs> I am grit. <laughs> hey, man, I hear you're in the market for a TV. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, not not really. Lena and I have talked about it. <laughs> hey, we have talked about it. I mean, the TV that we have is fine. I don't know what it is. I mean, you know, I, I, and, and that's where the whole problem back up. Yesterday, we were out going around and uh, we decided to get a little something for Adrian. 
I'm not going to say what it was because it's potentially a surprise. And I don't know if he listens to the episodes anymore. So I'm just going to say that we went by to get him something. Okay. Okay. We made it past the barbecue section. We were at uh, Net on Net. Wow, that's that's some significant progress for you. Hey, Net on Net is the name of the store, and it's kind of like a mixed Net discount. Yeah, they have they have like a. They're mainly an online store, but they have a physical store as well. Uh, okay. But it's also... Wait, does their logo have like a circle or something? Yeah, like a red circle. Net okay. On net. Or, okay, okay. I think, I think I've, I've come across it. I had no idea what it was because it's all in like super slangy Swedish. And I'm just like, yeah, no. Google Translate don't work on that. Typically, when you look for something on the internet <laughs> for like a, like do some kind of price comparison, net on net pops up. Like if you're okay. looking for whatever, like a new razor, like a new new bronze razor, net on net, uh-huh. you know, it's like it, it just always pops up as one of the options. So like a CNET Consumer Reports, but it's also a store kind of thing. Yeah, ish. I mean, it's <laughs> so. So I found this. Yeah. So I found this thing that that I wanted to get for Adrian. They just happen to have it in net on net, so we put it on our route. Um, you, it's a weird little store. It's kind of set up like Costco shelves. Um, okay, and right. You kind you kind of weave your way through the store, you know, around these shelves. Hey, so. that's the Swedish way, man. You got to go in all the same direction. Walk through the entire store. Class Olsen, IKEA. That's what we do here. Yeah, and and uh, and I, I really like it. I like it. It's never really that busy. Um. And it's definitely one of those like nice to cool to look around and see stuff, mm. but you typically don't leave with that much unless you go in for something specific. But as we're going by the aisle, I pushed kind of by because it's one of the few places that has like this Weber section. It has like a, a, a pretty decent Weber section with like Weber stuff and Weber gear. Duchess, and meet the Duke. You guys are going to have babies. (laughs) I even walked on the far side of that aisle, like away from the Weber shelves, just like so that we could get uh, get by it. And that's when Lena was like, oh, hey, look, a pizza stone. And I was like, oh, what? A pizza stone? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a must have. Yeah. So we so we got we got stuck by the Weber shelves a little. I was like, oh, look at this. Oh, look a new. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, a cover. Oh, look at that. It was just like you know. Then then I'm stuck there for a couple minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But as we round that corner, okay, the thing that we were going to get or that we got for Adrian was almost as soon as we walked in the store. I mean, so as okay. soon as we walked in, it was like to the left. I picked it up and our, our shopping adventure. Well, I hope he's never been on net on net because now he's narrowing it down quite a lot. Oh, no. He has no clue. <laughs> he, no. You know, it's an no. aisle one on the left hand side on the top yeah. shelf. <laughs> no, no. You know, the amount of effort it would take to, to, to figure that out. He'd be like, I'll just wait. I'll just wait for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but as we round the Weber uh, aisle corner, all of a sudden the TV start popping up. Right. And right. See, it, I'm envisioning a uh, Costco like layout. So, uh, yes, yeah. exactly. I so, know what you're talking about. Here. So I, I, we cut around the corner and, and that's when things kind of, kind of went into slow-mo for me as I was like walking <laughs> down that aisle. It was just like, <laughs> hey, look at these TV sets. Um, <laughs> and I had been in about a week ago just to check because Lena and I were happy with the TV, but we're like, eventually we're probably going to want to get a newer, you know, TV a little yeah, bit bigger. Sure, sure, sure. So I tried to research that a little bit last week. And uh oh. Yeah. And and this is, I think this is the, actually the second time that I've started this little research venture into what kind of TV to buy. And I, I kind of long for the day where you went in and, you know, you just chose like what size TV. You knew that it was, you know, just like this box TV. You went in and there wasn't a whole lot of choices. It was like this size, that size, that big. Wait, in this day... In this time period, 
did they have remotes already or did you have to get up and walk over to the TV? Um, I've kind of, I've kind of <laughs> lived through both of those fun periods. <laughs> <laughs> when TV actually turned off at night and it had just the static. Well, actually, the first remote controls was actually just a click button. So it didn't, I don't think it changed the channels. It was more like it turned your TV on and off. Yeah, that's why our, my generation of grandparents, they would call the remote the clicker. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, what are you talking about? Clicker, nothing yeah. clicks. Yeah. But so I I, I went in and I'm, I'm looking at, at, OLED versus QLED versus refresh rates versus backlighting and rich blacks and just the amount of information. It's mm. almost like you would just, you would just, you know, say, look, here's the money I have and I want a TV that's about this size. Just put it in my car. Yeah. Because it's, it, 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 there's just too much information. It, it's just too much. Well, I come across this a lot with, uh, you know, gear of all sorts for like mm. voiceover stuff or, you know, guitar oriented stuff. There's a million and one opinions. And I tend to like, this is the thing I'm looking for. What is the, what is the total price range, right? Like what's the most expensive? What's the least expensive? Cause I'm not buying either of those. Right. And then like, yeah. what's the average? Because like, What's in the middle, because the law of diminishing returns says, you know, you start getting over a point, you start spending money in all sorts of features, and it's not really going to do anything for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So trying to figure out that balance for yourself. But yeah, I remember when I was like, you know, I'm in the workforce, just mm -hmm. graduated, you know, now I got to buy like a real TV for myself, and it's right. like time to buy a flat screen TV. Yeah. You know, in college, I had the tube, the tube TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thing yeah. Sticking out the back. Now, now you're so talking. Now I get to buy like <laughs> an official, it's like 2003, 2004. I have arrived. It is time to buy myself Ooh. an HGTV, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, like, depending on how far it, the original thing was, depending on how far you're going to sit away from this screen, mm -hmm. that determines your size. But then there was all sorts of like, there was 1080i, but 720p, and then Ooh. everyone's like, what is the P and the I? And then everything became the same letter, and then, mm. yeah, I feel your pain, man. Now it's, uh, yeah. Well, and it's like, and, and some of the choices that you're supposed to, defer how you're supposed to differentiate between these is like, this one has a richer black, so that the black becomes really black. But, but it doesn't matter because it depends on how shiny the screen material is because all the lights in your house are going to bounce off of it when the screen is black. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 so what are we talking about here? But that's the stuff. What are we even doing here, man? <laughs> but that's the stuff. I'm like, do I need so, Do I need it really that rich? Like, and then they have the TV set up next to each other. There were like three you of start them. Start asking yourself, is my black going to be richer than I am? Mm. Then we have a problem. Then we got, yeah, <laughs> hey, and that wouldn't take much. <laughs> but they have these battle of the TVs going on too, right? now. Always, it's, always. Hey, you so have it, that room with the sound systems that are yeah, competing with each other. But, but it's not a media marked, you know, or one of those stores like El Gigante where you walk in and it's like. A, For it's, our American listeners, those are just basically Best Buy and Circuit City. For exactly. people that are old enough to know what Best Buy and Circuit City are. Yeah, right. But, the, but it's not like a wall OTVs. There was just three of them. And. So, oh, so it's like a little. But it was like, yeah. It's like, so I was standing. Like little, yeah. the, the grocery store, L-I-D-L, little. Yeah. So, I, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I. You so get I, one option. You want a TV? You buy this one or you know buy TV. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but I was getting sensory overload because I was standing there and I'm looking at one screen and then the picture started like different on the so i turned to and then the other one kind of wanted my attention back so they flipped on to it was it was uh i can only imagine you in a used car lot oh uh, mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so thankfully we left without a tv uh i will continue to research um the options there and w i mean we didn't even get into because our tv is on one of those wall swinging wall hanging oh, devices. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Because it's yeah. in a corner, so it's yep, it's at an angle. 
So, I mean, I didn't even get into the thing of trying to find a TV that fits the wall hanging contraption. Yeah, but once it's on the wall, unless, like, I have said experience. So, right. our TVs, are, all our TVs are still from Miami. They still have the American plug, so we have to have these mm. big converter boxes. So even though I think they're bivolt because there's no motor in them. So even if they're not rated for bivolt, I think they could do bivolt. But anyway, the TV in the living room, like the one we use all the time is 62. Mm. So that we, when we put it, installed it in Miami and we got the swinging thing because it was like a open plan. So your living room is the kitchen is the dining room is all that kind of stuff. So we wanted a swinging one. So we could see when we were cooking, just like you pull it out a little sure, bit, sure, sure, angle it, yeah. which is great. Yeah, exactly. So we had to have a guy come in, cut a big hole in the drywall, and then install these massive, like steel supports, right, onto the onto the studs in the wall. And in yeah. Miami, there everything's metal studs because of termites. Yeah, but yeah, he had to install all this infrastructure to get the thing, like then paste the drywall back up and then put the the frame back on. Yeah, but here. We have the holes in the wall, but it's drilled into the concrete. So I've been always thinking, hmm, you know, technically that would hold. Maybe just drill it in a little bit further, but it looks pretty deep. And I'm like, eh, yeah, but then I have to buy like a like a proper TV. I'm not just going to mm. buy like the swinging arm thing for an old American TV. You know what I mean? Right. And then you're just like, oh, well, well, I'm doing that. I might as well get a like a Dolby 18X sound system or 18.5 or 2.1 or yeah. whatever in the world those numbers mean. No one knows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a friend. Um, I enlisted the help of a friend that came and actually put that swinging wall mount thing on there. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with the you know, with a screwdriver, but <laughs> I'm more of a, more of a drywall kind of anchor screw kind of a mount person. Well, my, my thing about the drywall is you're going to cut a big square hole right. in the drywall. How's it going to get back in and be stable? Like you would think you have to put like something overlapping on the inside so that you have something yeah yeah to screw yeah, yeah into i'm yeah. like no it's it's too confusing for me i don't i don't know duct tape what you need is a lot of duct <laughs> what you need is is duct, duct tape. tape and wd-40 <laughs> baby you can rule the you world can fix anything hey did you see my <laughs> post uh, that i put up about the, the price of gas oh my god yeah, 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 yeah. Did I yeah. see it? Yeah, yeah. I it I was like, no, that can't be real. That can't possibly be the actual conversion. Eight dollars a gallon? Yeah, and this is exactly the reason why people should not do that conversion. Because you and I know <laughs> that when you move here, the most natural thing to do is to convert everything from like dollars to crowns or yeah, crowns. Because you to have dollars no reference or, otherwise. You don't even know what anything means. Yeah. And, you know, the United States is kind of a, you talk about buying stuff in bulk. I mean, the, the United States buys stuff in bulk. The prices are, are probably about as low as you can, as, as you can get them. And then you come here and it is. There's a reason a bunch of people take public transportation all the time. Hey, I almost left my car at the gas station. I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Keep it. Just, the gas inside is worth just, more to you than the car is to me. Yeah. It's got a crack in the windshield again. Just, I, I can't anymore. It, it's been a while because, you know, of course, we're putting gas in the car all the time. But Lana had told me when I was out driving around, since the price of gas is starting to go up again significantly, right. she said, just go fill the tank. And what I showed on uh, via social media on facebook and and uh and instagram that wasn't even an empty tank so people need to realize oh. that what what i put up there oh. is that we still had like a little bit less than a quarter tank of gas no left. man no 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 thank you and it's a little car <laughs> you know and here i remember and what was that 2008 2008 2010 somewhere around there yeah when like four dollars a gallon 
for gasoline in the U.S. was like people were melting down. Oh, yeah. It was like eating out of people's disposable income, $4 a gallon. Like, hey. here you are. Yeah, you know, filling up the tank of my Prius, it's like $250, but, you know, whatever. Hey, you know, <laughs> you know that it's expensive when you have friends back in California writing to you going, dang! <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. All right, everyone, that is it for this week. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Don't forget, as always, be sure to head over to our Instagram and check out all the crazy things we got going on and come back here next time for more Two Guys, Three Crowns. Three Crowns.